Jones. I'm here at the 2022 Foodie Con and Spring Expo. It's here at Blaisdell in the exhibition hall. Down there somewhere. And uh, we're gonna go check it out and see all the foodie stuff. But I just have to tell you, um, the parking was quite expensive. It's $8 just to enter, to park, and it's $4 for adult admission. Kids 12 and under are free, and elderly, uh, senior citizens, and military, I think it's $3. So let's go check out what they have. So this is where you get your tickets at the box office first. And uh, not too bad of a line. It's on the ward side. And then you go into the exhibition hall to show your ticket. So here's my ticket, $4 for an adult, cash only. Let's get inside. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you. Let's check this place out. Toys here. Beef jerky. Quite crowded in here. Got some candy. Chocolate covered frozen bananas. Massage chair. So I guess it's also a spring expo, so they have clothing and crafts, not just food. Got some chili sauce, more beef jerky. Some Filipino food. All that lumpia, goodness. <laughs> There's the Luau Bomb Man, which I featured in my Pearl Ridge Farmer's Market episode. We've got some Chamorro food. I might take a look at that, actually. Some southern food, smokehouse. Actually, I'm gonna try this. Hi. Do you mind if I film your food for YouTube to show people? You don't. No, I don't mind. Okay. Um, what is it like? Um, just chicken. Red rice, red rice. Barbecue chicken, corn off the cob with um, capuchon and chipotle sauce. Okay, right on. Um, I'll take one. Some lemonade over there. So I got my Chimoto food. And it's got the barbecue chicken, red rice, and corn. Seven bucks. A little pricey, but it is what it is. It's an ube truck. Oh, I see the Vaipala truck. That's my favorite Samoan drink. Let me get one. have exact change so she was nice and took my five even though it's seven dollars I only have a 20 or a 10. Um, got some popcorn here there was elotes in the back the mexican street corn and um, peanut butter rolls interesting and honey popo just like uh i guess papa olives sausage Hot sauce. Got some 
Indian food. That smells really good. I think I'm just gonna get one more dish and I'm out of here. So that looks really good, the Mexi bowl. I don't know what it is though. Chili cheese and nachos, Indian butter chicken. It's called Chili in Hawaii. How long have you, uh, do you have a restaurant or is it just like um, a We're in Ohana Hale Marketplace, which oh, okay. is getting knocked down. Do you want to so be on, on, on here? <laughs> no, oh. I don't want to be controversial. Oh no. So one thing I will say, a lot of these vendors have places in Ohana Mar Hale Marketplace or food trucks already. So you might be able to visit these places where they're usually at, but I'm gonna try this Mexi bowl. That's what it looks like. Jalapenos, cheese, cilantro on rice with beef. Wow, that's really good. Deliciously cheesy. I think the beef is the star of the show in this. It's really good, tasty, shredded beef. And the fresh onions and cilantro really make it pop with the cheese. I'm on the floor here. Unfortunately, I don't think there's enough seating here if you want to eat hot food. That's one of the negatives. But it is what it is. I'm eating on the concrete floor. And here's my vifala. We'll take a taste of it before the ice melts. It's pretty much pineapple and coconut milk together. Super sweet. sweet, delicious pineapple flavor with that milky goodness. Quite expensive, but it's a 24-ounce drink. Tastes delicious, though. $7 for this. That's the cheapest uh, glass of white color you can get. All right, let's keep walking around. There's some more snacks over there. Looks like gummy bears and leaky moi snacks crackers and stuff, some Lulabro clothes. Children's books. Fruit ice pops. I don't know, a lot of these are kind of Repetitive to me. A lot of Hawaii snacks, they're all the same. Some chocolates that look like weed. That's funny. Looks like some crip weed, but it's chocolate. Some lihimoi ice box, same stuff. Sausage. I like unique stuff, so I'm gonna try one more place before I'm outie, because it's pretty repetitive to me. I'm gonna try some Polynesian food. Oh, Palusami. So this is Mama's Island Fuleva. You can check them out on Facebook or Instagram. I'm waiting for my food. Okay, before I go, I'm gonna just show a little bit more stuff. Hello. Seems like on the right side, it's all like non-food items, such as the jewelry and all the clothes I showed you. But that Pinoy place has the longest line. Look at the line is over there and over there. So the food must be really good at the Pinoy Filipino food place. Razor Sports, Hawaii Finest Clothing. And that's pretty much all that's here. So that's pretty much all of this expo. Um, 
I'll eat some of the other stuff that I bought in the car and tell you my thoughts on this place. So as you can see, the parking lot's getting crowded. You can re-enter if you get a hand stamp and you can eat outside, but as you can see, it's totally crowded out there too. So not many places to eat. I'm gonna go eat it in my car. And I came at 11, it wasn't too crowded. A good sized crowd, but now the line of cars are getting pretty long. So this place is open till 8 p.m. today, releasing it on the same day, so it's Saturday, March 26th. They're also open tomorrow, uh, same time till 5 p.m. on Sunday. All right, so um, I'm gonna eat some of the food that I was not able to eat at the uh, inside the Blaisdell because there are a lack of chairs and nowhere to really eat and they were all taken the m minimal chairs they had. So the first uh, dish that I got when I walked in was the Chamorro food. It's barbecue chicken, the Chamorro red rice, and some corn with some Parmesan cheese, she said. Um, looks good. Uh, let's take a taste of the red rice. I'm not on my regular camera. I didn't bring it. I brought my vlogging camera, which is a very wide angle, so I can't use that. I'm using my cell phone right now. Hmm, good flavor. I picked this, you could pick any bento you wanted. They're all the same, but I liked it because of the charred skin. Hmm, really good barbecue flavor. Nice char, good grill. Good grill taste. So this is the sauce that you always get with Chamorro food. And if you're wondering what Chamorro food is, it's uh, food from Guam. Dip my chicken in it. The way I like it, I always say I'm not a fan of too vinegary things, but that's a good balance with the soy sauce and the vinegar. And I'm assuming maybe some lemon juice Although it's missing the chili pepper, no spice in it, but I guess it's good for everybody in general, for those who don't like spice. But the sauce is super flavorful, delicious. The corn, however, just tastes like um, canned corn with Parmesan cheese on it. So nothing too special there, but definitely the chicken and the rice are awesome. And again, this bento was $7. All right, so our last dish that I got, besides the Mexican food and the Chamorro food, is Samoan food. And I've got their Polynesian bowl, you got your palu sami, your kalo, and some sapa sui, which is their rice noodle chop suey with a, a little bit of rice. We'll try this palu sami first. Good coconut flavor. Has a little bit of onion in it. Gives it good flavor. Very little corned beef in there, if you can see, uh, but mostly taro leaves, but it's good. Take a piece of this kalo in coconut milk. If you've never had kalo, it's basically taro. So it's cooked perfectly, not too mushy, and it's not undercooked. It's got a good bite to it, but quite, you know, when you chew it, it's a starch, it's full starch. So you gotta chew a little bit, but the coconut, milk flavor is all throughout and it's delicious but the star of the show is the sapa sui little bits of meat in there not sure if you can see so because since i don't have my good camera it's just like long rice noodles but the sauce is good as a korean i'm probably going to get um flat fruit, but i'd rather have this than chop jay. this is so good i don't like the sweetness of chop jay, but this is more of a savory rice noodle and I, it's got all the veggies in it some carrot some corn but the shreds of meat in it is so good it tastes like beef double whammy with rice double starch and you're good to go that's some good sapa sui mm. so these are my closing thoughts on the 2022 foodie con and spring expo here at the neil blaisdell exhibition center 
my honest thoughts are um, quite pricey. By the time you enter, you already spent eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 dollars. Eight for parking, four to get in, and then um, spending money on kind of pricey items. Uh, everything was kind of, you know, on the high end because they're trying to make a living and making a buck, but um, yeah, I mean, this Fifala is delicious, but you know, just a drink for $7, that's a lot of money. What I also didn't like is if you're making a foodie con for food and most of the places are selling, you know, hot food, there needs to be more tables and chairs to eat at. Uh, there was nowhere to eat. People were going outside to eat, but even with that, there's so many people like there's nowhere to eat outside either. So at least maybe put chairs outside for them to eat because the outdoor pavilion had a lot of open space. I didn't like the repetitiveness of the vendors, just numbers of beef jerky places. And the more you walked around, you can see it's not that big. It's not that big. And it's just the same stuff over and over. Ice pops, uh, local snacks, which are all the same. It's Lihimoi gummy bears and all that stuff. So not a lot of unique items. And some people wonder, why do you pick the places you go to? They're kind of odd, but I like odd things. That's why you go to a foodie expo to expose yourself to different cultures, different cuisines. And um, I didn't find that here. There wasn't that many uh, different cultural cuisines as I thought there would be. Just a lot of the same old, same old. So, and when I spoke to a lot of people, they all said they were at Ohana Holly Marketplace, which is soon to shut down, but you could probably go to these places at their original store, then come over here and pay for parking and admission to eat at a place you can already go to that exists. So those are my thoughts, but I did enjoy uh, walking around and just seeing the different things. Um, I don't really go to these expo things much, so it was something new. And I did enjoy all the food that I did pick. Um, I would say my number one, which I didn't really get to film because I ate inside with my vlogging camera and it's hard to eat with no table to set it up on, so I really couldn't show it. But that Mexican food, that Mexi bowl was delicious. I ate the whole thing right away. It was so good. The flavors of the meat and everything. Um, I would say it's a tie between the Chamorro food and the Samoan food. Both tasted great and that sapasui was delicious. Um, and, but the chicken was grilled to perfection and the sauce and the flavoring seasoning all on point. So if you do end up going here today, later on tonight or tomorrow, because uh, they're only open this weekend, uh, check out those vendors, um, give them your business. And the Vifala was delicious too, even though it was expensive. Everything I chose did not disappoint. So I'll see you again for another food adventure. Hope you like this little walking tour of the 2022 Foodie Con Expo. And I'll see you again next week. Peace out.